so you just introduced uh, the first ever supercharged uh, yeah. Mopar dragster. Tell me about it. How did you get to it? Why did you? Because of the Hellcat, I take it, right? Uh, it? Well, no. because of the Hellcat, but we had a drag pack in the yeah. previous car, in the LC, what we call it internally, right? And this is the next generation Challenger, and we thought it. Uh, was credible to come out with the drag pack um, for the, the newer version, right? To uh, compete with the with the other two manufacturers out there. And so not only we had a long heritage with natural aspirated engines, and it was important to be able to um, race for the manufacturer's cup to have a supercharged version. So are you ready to talk numbers? Do you know how much horsepower? We know what horsepower our vehicles <laughs> produce, <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, uh, so- Give me a hint. No, the, it's uh, it's big. <laughs> is it more it, than a Hellcat? It oh, definitely. Yeah, it yeah. sounds like it's yeah, a lot for more. sure. And the reason why is because these are the bones that the racers will buy in the beginning, right? right? And they're going to put their own juju in it, right? Yeah. In their own pistons and whatnot. And these will all be uh, their own little recipe to what they want to race at, right? So um, we want to make sure that we have a credible uh, starting point for these racers, and that we give them all the parts that they need to be successful on the racetrack. All right, let me back into this question. So uh, last year's car, what was the fastest it ran quarter mile in? What, are we what number are we looking at? Uh, we were in the 8.8 .8 seconds on the naturally aspirated. 8.83, I believe, was the best time that was ever clocked. Uh, so eight second, nine second car. So oh, it's it's a, it's this, a this solid be, eight second car. So this should be, in the eights, right? I won't. So this one should be faster. Um, Potential. This car will be faster. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that. And you can have the cars kind of first coming out party at Mile High Nationals. Correct. Yeah. Uh, we're doing hand raisers now online. Yeah. Um, and we'll be opening for orders at Mile High. Okay. So uh, that's going to be a great place to introduce a supercharged car because of the fact that, you know, you're. Mile High. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> making up for the fact that you're at a mile high above sea level. Right. But it's a totally in diff different environment to race in, right. right? I mean, because of the the altitude, it's a different cal. It's right. There's di even the pro racers, right? They spend a lot of time getting the right gearing, getting the right calibrations for that environment. So you're an engineer. Maybe you know this fact: uh, a normally aspirated engine loses about three percent of power per one thousand feet of elevation, mm -hmm. right? So if you're at if you're at a mile, that's five thousand, give or take. So you're at fifteen percent less horsepower than you would be at the same. Uh, uh, drag strip if it were at sea level right. because of the air density and the supercharger of course takes air and compresses it and Correct. forces it into the so how much well, power remember we also cool it so it the cooling also aspect helps. of it also also helps so, right? so if you notice in this in the supercharged car there's a cool box in there that you will pack and um, helps cool the air going into the engine so how much how much power do you think you'll lose on a supercharged car versus a normally aspirated car when you get to a mile high have you done the numbers? Uh, no, no, I haven't done the numbers. All right. All right, fair yeah. enough. Yeah, you got to do those numbers. <laughs> for us, well, so for, the, us, for us, you know, sure, mile sure. hires. The displacement's totally different in these engines too. Right. It's a 426 natural aspirated. It's a 350, 354 uh, uh, supercharged. Right? Yeah, it's the stroke. So yeah, so you, it's it, apples to oranges it, basically. It really is. Yeah, right. It really is. Yeah. So you get smaller displacement, but you're putting more power out. Now, I heard you also redesigned the roll bar. There's other changes besides the engine. Correct. Tell me about so, those. All the learning we did on the first drag pack car, right? Yeah. We heard, we were stayed in contact with our with our racers. And, you know, we, we heard feedback from them about what improvements they'd like to see. And we incorporated those into the car. Yeah, basically making it stiffer, making it easier to launch. Um, and those are all things that you kind of naturally do in, in the next generation. Well, we'll certainly want to be in Denver when you actually go and, you know, do it at the block party. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks, Roman. Bye.